Okay, now that our quadcopter is all perfectly set and ready, everything is connected, it's time to program your radio. This is Futaba THJ and uh, this is the radio that I'm going to take it. The methods shown here or the choices of switches shown here in this video are totally my personal choice. You can either choose them as it is, follow them, or you can just learn the method and choose your own way to set things up. Now first thing, what I love about Futaba T8J radio is it has lots of switches and it has two three position switches, one E and one C. So these two switches, three position switches, actually give you a lot of, lot of control uh, for majority of autopilots out there in market which actually require two of the three position switches no matter fixed wing or multi-rotor autopilot. For me, I'm going to use the switch E to switch between manual, stabilize or attitude hold, and GPS position hold mode. So that is the switch E that I'm going to select in the beginning for the flight modes. And then for orientation control, I will use switch C that is off, course lock, and home lock. Okay, after that, uh, for the fail safe, we will just turn the radio off and RTH will be activated. But then I will also teach you how to use the switch E to actually activate the failsafe either on the down position or all the way up position. So using that method you have to give up one of the flight modes and I would say if you're a beginner just give up the manual flight mode. So I'll teach you that later. I will also use the VR knob to remotely set the gains of DJI NASA on that quadcopter. So X1 channel will be using the VR knob and X2 channel will be using this or we can use the X2 channel to switch IOC intelligent orientation control. All right, let's go ahead and we will create a new model first. So this is Futaba T8J, remember that. And I will select model two. All right, now we have the model two. And anyway, I will execute the reset on this model. All right. Now, uh, model has been selected and we need to make sure this is the model for fixed wing, not the helicopter. So I will go aerobatic. All right, and rest of the options, you can see whatever you want. I normally either keep DT5, DT6 in case if I'm gonna use these two trims. If not, then I will just put it on username. All right. Now give your model a name. I will call it um, V3 because it is using more powerful motors and username I will use Ali Mansur. All right. Now dual rate and expo, forget about it. The next thing we're going to do is uh, set the auxiliary channels. So switch 5, that is going to be a flight mode. Set it to switch E. Channel 6 is VR knob for remote gains and channel 7 I would simply put it on channel C, switch C to control the intelligent orientation. Okay, alright, done. Now I will go back to the end points and I know for the gear that is the switch E on channel 5 or channel U on foot uh, NASA. I will actually set them to 61% at both sides because this is where all the GPS modes and attitude, altitude, hold and GPS position hold or manual mode will be activated. Later we will go, later we will actually change this 61 to 35 to set the fail safe which is, uh, of course how do I know because I have done this before so for now I will just leave it alone and won't confuse you. All right, flap or AV1, AV2, we'll leave there. We'll go to the reverse and I will put the throttle down, reverse the throttle, make it normal. And I will put the channel seven to reverse. This is how Futaba works. This is what I found out. Rest of the things, just forget all of this. Don't worry about it. Now that your radio is set up, what I'm gonna do is bind my Futaba to a new R8 208 receiver and then go ahead get my computer and show you the settings for the programming on DJI Assist.